Well, hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to the Inti Gift School of Decor and Decoupage. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through how I made this wonderful vintage and shabby chic Marie Antoinette decoupage jewelry box. I used laser printout, clay molds, waxes, and acrylic paint to make this box. So let's get into it. This is the base that I started with, so the base and the lid of the jewellery box are made out of MDF and then the centre part, the body of the box, is made out of solid wood. This box was made as a one-off for me by my friend's dad, who is a woodworker, so unfortunately I don't have a link for where this could be made. But if you know somebody who is quite handy with wood, then um, who knows, maybe they will be able to make something like this for you. The first thing that I did was stain the centre part. I used watered down acrylic paints to do that. So first of all, I mixed up a little bit of a blue and white acrylic paints and watered them down to make this very light blue painty water. And once I applied that blue toned water, I added a little bit of brown into it and applied that brown stain over the bottom part of the wooden section. I also used a cloth to kind of help me smudge out and smooth out any of the sharp edges. I applied a coat of white acrylic paint over the MDF parts to serve as a primer and also of course for our decoupage parts we always want the surface to be a light colour to make sure that the colours show up properly. When all of the paint and stain was dry I took my medium to fine sanding block and gave everything a light sand. Using water-based products will sometimes lift the wood fibres up a little bit and make the surface a little bit rough to touch. So if that happens, always use a little bit of fine sandpaper. And then it was time to move on to decoupage. So for decoupage I decided to use these Marie Antoinette cards. These are images that I downloaded from Digital Collage Club, so these are supposed to be for artist trading cards I believe, but as you guys know I always find different uses for the images on that website. So I chose to use three different pictures. I decided to go for blue backgrounds on the edges and then a brown background in the middle. As always, if any of you guys wanted to sign up with Digital Collage Club to use any of the images that you can find in their amazing library, then make sure to check out the discount codes in my description because if you're going to sign up, you may as well save yourself a little bit of money. To make the images fit the shape of the box, I um, kind of placed them over the box where I wanted them to go and then I ran my finger across the edges to kind of trace around the shape that I needed and then I used my scissors to cut it out to shape. Once all three of the images were ready, I applied some water onto them. I soaked them with water basically for a little bit, for like 10 seconds, um, and then dabbed the excess water away. Water expands the paper a little bit, which is something that is going to happen once you apply glue on it anyways. So when you do it before you apply glue, it helps avoid any creasing or bubbling up and also it helps the glue seep in a little bit better so it just really helps with the whole decoupage process. Then to decoupage them on I actually used my trade grade PVA glue. So I apply a coat of glue onto where I'm going to apply the first picture, then apply the picture on and I use the cloth and then apply another coat of glue over all of the images. When the glue was dry, I used some sandpaper to clean up the edges. And now we move on to the molding part. The main mold that I used for this box is this rope mold, which is an icing mold that I purchased on eBay. As always, I used Das Air Drying Clay and the same trade grade PVA glue to glue the molds down. 
So I made a load of ropes and then cut them to size so that they would frame each of the picture but also leaving little gaps in between each of the ropes. Once the ropes were on I made tiny little balls of clay that I cut into half and put them in in between each of the ropes. I used the back end of a brush and my palette knife to shape the balls to make them look a little bit like um, screws. In the same kind of fashion I also made a load of ropes to go around the bottom part of the jewellery box. Once the ropes were on I took this redesign with Prima mold and made four little bows to go on the ropes. And then I also took this flowery mold, again this is an icing mold, and made some flowers to go on the inside of the lid and on each of the ends of the body of the jewellery box. So as you can see a lot of molds so basically I just kind of applied them wherever I felt they were necessary. And then I just glued them on and left them to dry for about 24 hours. When the molds were dry I took more white acrylic paint and painted over all of the MDF parts just to cover everything up. At that point I also decided that I wanted to paint the inside of the jewellery box white as well to I guess make it fit in a little bit better so that the inside didn't stand out so much and actually looked like it was a part of the whole thing. Next I moved on to the ageing and waxing parts. So first I applied a coat of clear wax. I used Annie Sloan but any clear wax will do. And then I took this black wax by Liberon, so this is black patinating wax. And the way that I use it is I take a brush and I apply it all over the place, wherever I want there to be a little bit of black and a little bit of aging. I work in small sections, I apply some black wax and then wipe some of the excess away. Take another brush and apply clear wax over it and then wipe it away. So the clear wax kind of reactivates the black wax and allows you to wipe away almost all of it, only leaving the black wax inside of the crevices or any kind of pores inside of like the MDF parts. And so I literally did that all over the jewellery box. Once I was happy with the amount of aging that I did, I took some blue, white and pink paints, mixed them together a little bit and using a dry brushing technique, applied a little bit of blue and pink over the moulds. And right at the very end, of course, I used a little bit of vintage gold wax by Finnebar to go around the edge of the body of the jewellery box and some of the moulds. To seal the decoupage images, I used Polyvine's decorator's varnish. The 
lastly, of course, I had to apply some hinges to connect the lid of the box to the rest of it. So I used these bronze hinges. These can be purchased in my shop, by the way. So if you were interested, there's going to be a link in the description below. So I just marked out the spots where the hinges would need to go and then screwed them in. You will notice in the final clip that there's like little flowery bits on the inside of the jewelry box that have now appeared. I added those later after I finished filming because unfortunately the back wall of the inside of the box was not thick enough for the screws that I used for the hinges. So the screws actually kind of poked through a little bit. So there were sharp bits sticking out. So I had to cover them up and I used these little metal floral embellishments to do that. And there you guys go. This is the final result. This is what the jewelry box looks like now. I am super happy with the way that it turned out. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I thought that these Marie Antoinette pictures were literally perfect for this project. And of course, all of the molds and everything, I think it all came together really nicely. But of course, you know, I made it, so <laughs> it's my baby. You let me know what you think to the way that this box turned out. As always, links for everything in this video are going to be down in the description box below. If you would like to follow me on any of the social media, Instagram, Facebook, also links are going to be down in the description below. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Share it with somebody who might find it helpful or interesting. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!